Doesn't this just look freaking amazing? So so freaking immersive. Oh my god, I'm a I'm a I'm an anime girl. Hello everyone and welcome to a video about something I freaking care about. Full body tracking. It's one of the greatest things I've discovered in the past year or so, thanks to some weirdos. I value full body tracking very much so. I actually think it's more immersive than even hand tracking was when it came out. But it's very expensive and very inaccessible due to the fact that, well, most full body tracking systems kind of need the CBR Lighthouse base stations, which adds on the other costs, including the trackers and it's expensive, is what I'm trying to say. There have been a lot of competition though recently with companies trying to make it more affordable, at least for CBR users. Tundra Trackers, for example, was a Kickstarter that is so freaking, well, successful that they're actually almost came out of stock. Like, they're almost out of stock right now. If you check their Kickstarter, it's gonna be gone. Everything's gone probably already by the time I upload this video. But that just shows a true testament to how successful and important full buy tracking is to people. Not only that, is VR chat. Well, it's constantly breaking records for how many users are using it each day. And I'm sure the, you know, the true immersion of having full body support and everything like that adds to those numbers as well. EOS VR also, you know, has it. That's why I'm recording this video in. And, of course, we can get on to the fact that it also has eye tracking and face tracking because all these steps to greater immersion is very important to VR. And I swear to God, you will agree once you try all these things yourself. So, despite the fact that price is an issue for full body tracking, another issue is, well, I like to call it the chicken and egg theory. So, not much content honestly supports full body tracking right now. And the reason due to that is, well, there's not that many people compared to the rest of the VR base that has it. However, as we make things cheaper and more accessible, then content will start catching up. Zenith VR, which is an MMO I made a video about, they even have plans to include uh, full body tracking upon release or at least soon after that. A VR MMO or any social apps having full body tracking makes a lot of sense because a lot of the actual charm to these programs are the actual social aspects when you meet and hug people. I mean, you can just go on a raid, kill things, and then literally do a group hug on the dead bodies of your enemies. So now that I spent that all that time talking about the spiel, why I think full body tracking is important, I want to give some good news for people that might not be able to invest in the Lighthouse Steam VR systems. I talked about Tundra, but there's actually three old systems coming out pretty much very soon that will allow Quest 2 users, for example, or people without Steam VR Lighthouse, to try out Steam VR in a very well seems to be a very high quality way. The three hardware accessory kits I'm going to be talking about is one, Stonks VR, two, Slime VR, and three, Unimotion, which kind of sounds pretty normal compared to the rest of these kits. First, let's talk about the last two because they're actually very similar. You remember the Deca Move? Another thing I made a video about? Basically, the Deca Move uses a bunch of like compasses and magnets to kind of decide where your orientation is for locomotion. Well, a bunch of bright people uh, have been started basically using that technology and going further with it by creating a bunch of IMUs that would go all around your body and legs, your lower body at least. The benefit of this is they have been making some great software with these great uh, finely tuned IMUs to allow full body tracking without any reference point. So it does not need cameras. It does not need, uh, it does not need base stations. It doesn't need any of that. It just needs the software and SteamVR runtime to actually allow full body tracking. So Unimotion is mostly a Japanese market uh, targeted hardware, while SlimeVR is very soon to get ready for crowdfunding, is actually for the Western markets, and I will post a link to all of these things that you can learn more about or maybe pre-order them when they're out uh, in the description, so check that out. A full kit, at least of SlimeVR, is estimated to run around $130 for the full set. You don't need lighthouses, you don't need anything. You, it comes with the straps, it comes with the IMUs that you put all over your body. Caveat that you have ECVR and run SteamVR with it. $130 for a full set with full 360 degree full body tracking is pretty amazing. 
Of course, it's not going to be fully accurate as uh, any lighthouse base station system like Tundra Trackers or the Vive Bucks, but that is still very good for people that want to dip their toes into it. So basically, the way Sox VR comes with is it actually comes with one uh, of its own base stations that basically give off a lot of light, and you will be wearing these little uh, things on your body that actually reflects the light and transmits that data into full body tracking data with Steam VR. That's basically the most basic way I can explain it. So while I'll personally be constantly sticking toward the actual, uh, you know, Tundra trackers when they come out and the HTC Vive pucks, the accessibility of full body tracking is very important to me because the more users that have full body tracking will mean later on the more content that will support it. The chicken and egg theory. I've, I've dealt with this chicken and egg theory for a while. Ever since 2016, I remember when people were arguing that VR was not going to go anywhere because there's no content. Well, five years later, look where we are now. VR is having a ton of content all the time, and no one talks about that. Same thing happened when hand tracking came out. I remember when uh, the Valve Index Knuckles were being worked on, people were like, eh, hand tracking, kind of cool, but nothing supported it, and people complained about that. Well, then Oculus Quest got hand tracking, and then we started seeing some bigger titles get hand tracking, and now everyone's like, oh, hand tracking's awesome. Everything should have hand tracking. And I believe the same thing is going to happen with full body tracking, eye tracking, and face tracking. And as soon as that does happen, I'm going to be the most smug human being on this planet, and you are all going to just cry and get on your knees right now. Anyway, I hope you guys really value full body tracking as much as I do. I think it's one of the greatest technologies that VR has, uh, as more content supports it, and we have not just social apps, but every app support it. It'll be very good. I promise. I don't praise things unless I really believe in it, and I truly believe in full body tracking. Subscribe!